One of the most serious genetic diseases that we see in dogs is called dilatative cardiomyopathy, or DCM. What this means is that the heart uh, becomes dilated or enlarged, the heart walls become thin, uh, the heart is no longer very effective at pumping blood. Uh, this disease often ends up triggering abnormal heart rhythm. And so we want to do an, an ECG or a heart rhythm screen every year on dogs that have risk for cardiomyopathy. Boxers have a particularly bad form of the disease. Uh, if they have the gene that predisposes them to abnormal rhythm in their heart, uh, they can drop dead as early as a few months of age. Uh, they tend to have very severe um, form where their heart beats so spastically that um, it doesn't provide oxygen to the body and the dog can die very suddenly. So this guy is Harley. He's a nice bouncy uh, boxer. Harley's rhythm is normal today, which is good. We're gonna continue to monitor him so that uh, if we have a problem later on, uh, again, we're going to have a chance to catch that early. Most breeds of dogs, you will see cardiomyopathy start at middle age or older age. Uh, and so as the dog gets older, we monitor more closely. But for some breeds, uh, Doberman Pinschers are another breed that has very high risk for uh, cardiomyopathy and abnormal heart rhythms, even at a fairly young age. We like to check an ECG screen before we anesthetize any pet. Uh, and we especially like to do it, again, for those breeds that are prone to cardiomyopathy. Cats have a different brand of cardiomyopathy. Uh, they get what's called hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. So instead of the heart muscle getting thin and stretched, it gets thicker and thicker and more rigid. And so the heart can't fill with blood and it's not a very effective pump because the elasticity of the heart walls is lost. Um, cats also can die very young when they have these uh, genetic forms of heart disease. Uh, we see uh, this form of heart disease in cats even in um, domestic short hairs, so our everyday cat that comes in our door every day that's not a specific breed. There are some purebred breeds of cats that have very high risk for cardiomyopathy. We do ECG screening for anesthesia, we do it because of, of breed risk, and we do it anytime we hear or think we hear an abnormal rate or rhythm with the heart. Once the heart muscle is severely distended and stretched and the heart is, is not functioning very properly, it's very difficult to keep those, those pets going for very long. So the whole key is to do your ECG or your ProBMP early so that you catch things in an earlier stage when you can manage it the best.